Good evening, Red Devil fans, and welcome to Warrington, Georgia. This is Bruce Beggs, along with Greg Norman, and we'll be bringing you this exciting football matchup between the Lincoln County Red Devils and the Warren County Screaming Devils. Greg, I think we're underway now. Well, we're getting close, Bruce. We, uh, we, I don't just know, in the nick of time. I don't know I don't know if we won the toss or lost it. Did we, did we have the toss, Greg? I, well, I saw them bunched up, but nonetheless, we're going to take the ball. Ball rolls down to, looks like going to be around about the 10 yard line. Number two, Shantavious Jennings thought it was going to go out of bounds. He let it roll when it hit. But it just died on him. You going to be able to get the game, Bruce? I got it. I got it. I got it, Greg. You got a lot of these blue players, haven't you? I got, I got some red ones now. All right, it's going to be first and 10, Lincoln County. Looks like the ball spotted on about the 11-yard line. Bear with us, fans. We are, we are really in a predicament here. This is uh, battlefield conditions. Lincoln County comes out. Looks like got two tight ends. We'll run a little cross buck. Number two, Shantavis Jennings on the left side. He's going to pick up about 20 yards. Going to be first and 10, Devils. Let's see where they're going to spot it. Greg, do you remember if I put a tape in the camera? Bruce, if it ain't no tape in there, <laughs> that's the least of our words. <laughs> Looks like the ball spotted on about the 26-yard line. First and 10, Lincoln County. Red Devils come out too tight in, wishbone. Same play to the opposite side with number 34, Williams. And he's going to pick up about 10, 11 yards. I believe they're going to go ahead and give me first down. First and 10, Red Devil. Greg, while our broadcast is getting underway, I do want to remind you that this broadcast is made possible by the city and county governments of Lincoln County, the Lincoln County Chamber of Commerce and Development Authority and with some help and cooperation from the high school technology department. All right, Red Devil still in that two tight end set, wishbone backfield, copping under center. He takes a snap, hands straight up the middle of number three, Tyler Bill, on a good hard run by number three, Bill. He gonna pick up about four, maybe five yards, depending on the spot. Looks like about the 42 yard line, Greg. Gonna bring up a second and five. Number three, Bill, has come around and he really has, he really has he's he's coming to his own. He he, is, he, he has, has really he. turned into a ball player for this Red Devil offense. Same set for the Devils. Copping under center, takes a snap, and they run that kill off to the left. And number two, Jennings is off to the races, and he looks like he's going to be brought down around the thirty. No, that's going to be about the 40. About the 43 yard, yard, yard line. First and 10, Lincoln County. So we've run four plays and had first down yardage of better on three of them, Bruce. Warren County side is filling up. Well, they getting more and more fans. This game really has no implication on it as far as as playoffs. I guess it does to us if we beat them. We're number one in the region regardless of what happens next week. Looks like number nine, C.J. Norman. And he's going to be stopped for a gain of about two. And that's probably one of the better stops they've made on us, Greg. It is. Well, if you go back over the years, this has always been a tough football game for the Red Devils. Warren County always plays Lincoln tough. Second down, eight to go. Red Devils still in the two tight end wishbone set. Coppin runs around the hands off to number seven, Darrell Norman around the right side. And he's gonna lose about four yards. Looks like he's gonna bring up third down and about 12. 
We'll call it third down and 10. A big stop that time by the Screaming Devil defense. They read that play well. Third down, 10 to go. Red Devil still gonna stay in that two tight end set. I see we got number five, Jones, in it, the other tight end. Look for a little pass here. Nope, they're gonna hand off to number 34, Williams, around the right side. And he's gonna be drove out of bounds at about the 41 yard line. Close to a late hit on that, but just a good pursuit by the defense. That's gonna bring up fourth down and nine. Bruce, where'd our old trusty cameraman go? He, I think he went to get a barbecue sandwich. Here he come. He got here 20 minutes out to seven. Right, right at game time. Surely he doesn't eat everything between him and Lincoln. All right, Red Devils pump formation. Got a new snapper this week. And not a good snap. But he gets to punt off anyway. In Warren County, I let it roll, and it takes a Red Devil roll. Looks like it's going to be down around the two, three yard line. Can you see anything, Bruce? I can, yeah, I can see something. Bruce, film in this game is a lot like, I went to South Georgia one time and I saw a bunch of those Vidalia onion growers hired help playing soccer in a hay field. Now, if you want to see something, you watch them kick a soccer ball in grass three and a half foot high. I feel like I'm in grass three and a half foot high. First and 10, Warren County ball. I couldn't tell you where it's spotted at. It's on the field somewhere. They break it loose right up the middle, and he's going to have a first down yardage. Fans, I don't know how this is going to look on TV, but from where I'm standing, it's terrible. Greg, looks like he got about a 12 or 13 yard pickup on that play. Oh yeah, he did. He had first down yards. Looks like the ball is gonna be spotted at about the 14 or 15 yard line. And they try to go around that right side and he's gonna be stopped after a gain of about two yards. Gonna bring up second down and eight. Bruce, you know when the war in Iraq broke out, I sit up and watch the news and watch those guys filming. Every time something would blow up, they'd duck. I know exactly how they felt. Uh, well, you see the you see the picture shaking every time the fans jump on the stands over here. Warren County comes out in some kind of spread wing offense, send a man in motion to the left. And it looks like it's going to be a pass play, but he's going to be sacked in the backfield by number two, Jennings. Big loss on the play. That's going to bring up third down and 16. Warren County quarterbacks getting to play from the sidelines. They send it in with a wide out. Third down, 16 yards to go for the first. They come out with that two wide outs and a double wing in the backfield. And he's just gonna throw it up for grabs. Over down number seven, Darrell Norman with the coverage. And he never saw the football coming. Great play by Warren County. A ball that should have been picked off if number seven Norman sees it coming. But it's enough for first down yardage again. Ball looks like it's spotted about the 37. Well, the 32. Warren County hustles up to the line of scrimmage. One back in the backfield, they got that double wing. Send a man in motion to the right and he's gonna hand off straight up the middle. It's gonna be a pickup of about two. Gonna bring up second down, eight to go. It's 
So Warren County is coming out, moving the ball on the red. They are coming out in this series, moving the ball, Greg. But that last pass play is one of those that shouldn't have been. If number seven, Norman, picks up the, looks back for the pass, it's one he usually picks off. Hand off again, straight up the middle. Looks like might have been a fumble on the play. Red Devils get the ball. First and 10. Ball spotted on. Was that Parks that came up with that ball? Really? I don't know, Bruce. You're going to have to ask Doug and Bruce Turner that. Because I don't they, think they, they can see much better than us. They up just a shade bit higher than we are. First and 10, Red Devils. Ball spotted on the 34-yard line of the Screaming Devil. Lincoln County back in the two tight end shotgun set. Hand off to number 34, Williams up the middle, and he picks him a hole, and he's going to be off to the races. And touchdown. Touchdown. I don't see no flag, Looks so like that's that. going to stand. With 5.26 left to go in the first quarter, score Lincoln County 6, Screaming Devil 0. Hopefully these uh, referees didn't bring any yellow flags, Greg. Well, so far we've been flag free. I think they know the importance of the game and they just gonna let the clock, gonna do their best to let the game just run on out. Got number 59 out there, Rex Reed gonna try to point after. Copping your holder, good snap. And I believe it's gonna be wide to the left. It is. So, so score still remains. Lincoln County six, Warren County zero. And Greg, we brought a, brought a good contingent of fans with us here tonight, as we can see in our monitor now. This may be one of the darkest football fields in the state of Georgia. This is one we ought to play on Thanksgiving Day, Bruce. <laughs> So Lincoln County will tee the ball up and kick it off to Warren County, which they had a, other than the fumble, they had a, had they a had good, real good success on, on that opening drive. Number 30, Ronte Norman tees it up. High kick, but not too deep. Ball is going to be filled around the 25 or the 30 yard line. Looks like number nine, CJ Norman. Or is that eight? That's I believe that's eight. Belafonte Davis on the stop. Yeah, that was that was Davis. Looks like the ball is going to be spotted right on the 30 yard line. Maybe the 29. Who knows? I don't know if when this thing comes out on TV. It's going to be hard if anybody call us a liar. <laughs> I believe it will be. Let's go. Let's go. First and 10, Warren County. They come out with that two wide outs and that double slot. He drops straight back to pass, and he has it up again. And number 12, Stokes, fires the ball this time, but it's a little late. That's little, the one that should have been picked off. Yeah. A little bit out of the reach of Stokes. He just drops straight back and lets it go and hopes the receiver can run under it. Greg, we hired us a new camera operator tonight. Yeah. Our trusty cameraman rode out here with Dr. Williams, and he said they didn't have anything to eat, if you believe that. Another pass. Number 12, Stokes. Doesn't pick that one up. Complete. Ball going to be spotted on the 50-yard line. They just dropping straight back, Bruce, and airing and, the ball and out. It out. And the receiver seeing it, and our defensive backs, well, you just did. Ain't, they just ain't picking the ball up. Well, you did say it was kind of dark out here, Greg. Well, it, it ain't kind of dark. It's very dark. Warren County in the same set. He drops straight back, and he just lays it up again. 
Number 12 still doesn't look back, Stokes. He still doesn't look for the ball. Number nine, C.J. Norman over there to help him out. If he had one more step, that's a ball that's intercepted. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball spotted right on the 50. Warren County still in the same set. He drives back and he throws it to the right side. And that's going to be pass interference on number seven, Darrell Norman. Pass interference against the Red Devil. Greg, that quarterback appears just to be throwing the ball straight up in the air and trying he to let is. the receiver run up, run under, up it. under it. He just those, takes a snap and takes those, a couple steps back. And those balls are supposed to be intercepted. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball spotted on about the 37, and he drops back. This time he's going to look for somebody. He's going to turn and run, and he's going to get run out of bounds about the 22-yard line. I believe that's going to be another – Red Devil first down. Uh, blue, uh, screaming Devil. It's going to be a Devil first yeah. down in any the, case. The Devil's going to have a first down. First and 10, Warren County. Ball spotted on about the 21. Warren County hustles to the line of scrimmage. They on a mission, Bruce. They, they appear to be, Greg. I hope we can hold them up right here. Same set. He drops back and just throws it up again. And it's intercepted by number nine, but I think he's going to be, he's out, gonna of be out of bounds when he caught it. So we made some adjustments in that secondary and got some help out on the side. Second down, 10 yards to go. Red Devils don't have enough people on the field over Bruce. Uh, I don't think so, but we're taking the time out. Nope, we only got 10. We All right, Greg, with four minutes and 31 seconds left in this first quarter, Lincoln County is on top. Six to nothing, but Warren County is threatening. Yeah, they driving. Second down, 10 yards to go for Warren County. Ball spotted on the 21-yard line. We got some kind of hold up now, and I don't know what it is. The officials having a discussion. I don't know. They probably asking who was supposed to bring the yellow flags. Well, they can go to Commerce and find some. They probably still on the field laying around about. They are. I expect most of the grass is dead up there. Okay, ref starts the clock. Warren County is still in the same set. He drops back to pass. And, and he'll be sacked. Heavy by number 79, and he'll be brought down. Dante Norman and number 61 back there, Dante Parks as well. Going to bring up third down on about 22. Bruce, we need to get us a generator and take with us. We need a big flashlight or something. Warren County calls timeout.
Greg, we do want to remind our viewers while we have this time out about the Grays Mountain Rock Swap Dig coming up October the 29th through the 31st. Also, uh, the deadline for Chamber Director nominations is November the 1st. Um, our sideline reporter saying on that last uh, timeout, Greg, that, that one of our guys had an equipment problem and they I were trying to get the official. I saw, I saw number eight Davis run off on the side with and his that, helmet um, in his hand. We took a timeout, but then when the officials realized it was an equipment problem, then they gave us a timeout back and took the official timeout. Well, that was very generous of them. Christmas in October. All right, third down, 22 to go for the first. Warren County in that same set they've been in ever since they started the game. He drops back and he has it out to the right. It looks like the ball looks like it's intercepted, and it was. Tavares Who is Stokes, that? number twelve, Stokes over Stokes on. intercepted the ball. A good athletic catch there. Uh. Ball spotted on about the five, maybe the six yard line. First down 10, Lincoln County. Looks like we're gonna come back with the wishbone again. Turn around, it's going to be a halfback pass. Number six, Barden. Pass incomplete, but they're going to charge gonna, Barden for with, pushing off. Pushing. It's going to be offensive pass interference. Barden was covered well on that. And they're going to charge him for offensive pass interference. So that'll back us up half the distance to the goal. Gonna bring up first down and a second down, 12 and a half. Red Devils come out with wide outs to each side. Two backs in the backfield behind Coppin. He drops straight back and he's pressured heavy. Number six, Barden, wide open in the middle. And he's gonna have the first down and, and a little more. bit more. And he still cuts going. back across the middle of the field and he's finally gonna be brought down at about the 30 yard line. Big play, Red Devil. First down, 10 yards to go. Coppin lucky to get away with that one, Bruce. He was he pressured was. He heavy. He was under heavy pressure. He was pressured heavy in the end zone down there. And that big number six, right in the middle of the field, wide open again. Got wild outs to each side, our backfield behind Coffin. Coffin hands off straight up the middle of number two, Jennings, and he's gonna be stopped, maybe a gain of one. Warren County really playing a good football game this first quarter. Two minutes, 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Lincoln County up six to nothing. Second down, eight yards to go for the first. Wide outs to each side. Our backfield behind Coppin. Coppin takes the snap. He hands to the second back through, number 34, Williams, and he's hit hard. At the 35 yard line, gonna bring up third down and about five. Picks up a yard or two, falling forward. So we in 
We in third down. Third down and five. We're going to have two wide outs to the left. Number 27, Bradford. Number 9, C.J. Norman. And Coppin's going to call time out before we get a delay of game. Greg, while we have this time out, I want to remind our viewers about some other activities coming up. November the 6th, we'll have the Holidays Trail Ride at Busted Point. That starts at 10 a.m. and goes to 5 p.m. And you can call the Welcome Center or Chamber of Commerce for more information on that. Also, uh, November the 19th is the deadline for entry for the Holiday Parade, which will take place on November the 20th. That's when the Holiday uh, in Old Lincoln Town Festival and Parade takes place, and also the Lincoln County Historical Society's Pioneer Day at the Historical Park. That's from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, you can call the Welcome Center at 359-7970 and get more information on all these activities. Okay, third down, five to go. Red Devils come out with two wide outs to the left. Number 27, Bradford. Number 9, C.J. Norman. Got two backs in the backfield behind Coppin. And he's going to turn and pitch it to number 7, Darrell Norman. And he's going to have first down yardage and more. Finally brought down at about the 46, maybe 40. Well, what are they going to do? They're going to give it to the 47-yard line. So we flooded everybody to the left and turned around and quick pitched number seven, Darrell Norman. And he just uses that speed and gets outside. He had some good blocking in front he of him. He did. That was, that was some good blocking that time. First down, 10. Ball spotted on the 47-yard line. Got number 27, Bradford, to the right. Number nine, C.J. Norman, to the left. Eye backfield behind Coppin. He turns and pitches it. Number seven, Darrell Norman again, and he's going to pick up about seven, maybe eight yards. Going to bring up second down, short yardage. Look for a long pass here, Bruce. Second down on a yard, a short yard. He might let Coppin air it out here. Go ahead and try to put some points on the board before this clock runs out. 25 seconds left in the first quarter. Our backfield with wide outs to each side. He just hands straight off up the middle of number two, Shantavis Jennings. And that's going to be your last play of the quarter. So at the end of this, well... Not quite the end, but right at yeah, the end they, of this first Yeah, they stopped, it, they stopped it for the first down. Now they'll start. Now the now clock will start back eight seconds. But that will be your last play of the first quarter. Lincoln County six, Warren County zero. So it's living up to its reputation, Bruce. This is, it is. It's a, Warren County always gives us fits. They have every time we've ever played them. And they come off of the field, they'll... Trying to get these handful of fans they got here involved in the game. That may have been one of the fastest first quarters we've been through this I'll year. I'll tell you what. It moved right along, didn't it? It did. It turned out to be a nice night, Greg. We were afraid it might be a little cool, but it... All raining. It, it had rained earlier today over this way, I think. Ball spotted on about the 33 and a half. Red Devils first and 10. Warren County has some pretty good athletes dressed out out there on the field, Bruce. Yeah. 
wide outs to each side. Split backfield behind Coppin. Coppin takes a snap and he drops straight back to pass. He intended for number nine, C.J. Norman. And he falls down, number 12. I said number 12. What number was the guy that almost intercepted? Was it 42 or 32? I thought it was 32, Gray. Ball should have been intercepted. Lincoln County dodges a bullet there. Ball must have been tipped at the line. Not a very pretty pass. Same set for the Red Devils. Coppin drops back to pass. Plenty of time. And he throws it to number 12, Stokes, and he's going to have first down yardage. First and 10, Lincoln County. Looks like the ball spotted about the 17 yard line. About a 15 yard pickup, Greg. So it's first and 10 from now. Red Devils got number 27, Bradford to the left, nine, CJ Norman to the right, eye backfield, and they're gonna hand it to Number 34, Williams, he goes off left tackle. Good block out there by number 27, Bradford. He's going to free him for a touchdown. Now, now Greg, you getting in the way. Oh, well, we moved the camera up the hill. You just tell me if I'm in the way. I reckon I got the whole run blocked out there. <laughs> The only difference in filming this and a deer hunting show is, is you can talk. <laughs> it is a little uh, primitive conditions uh, as compared to what we've been used to. We've just been there's spoiled no, so there's far. There's no place like home. <laughs> Wishbone for the Red Devils. They're going to go for two. Coppin sprints out the pass, and the ball is going to be overthrown out of the end zone. Intended for number six, Barden. So with 11-14 left to go in the second quarter, you score Lincoln County 12, Warren County 0. You ain't got any ruby slippers on there, Gray. No, sir. I thought maybe you could click them three times. <laughs> I tell you what, Bruce. Filming in circumstances such as this, it's just like going to the beach and staying for five or six days. You can't hardly wait to get there, and after about that third or fourth day, you can't hardly wait to get back home. I'm scared Gross is going to fall out of this door up here on me in a little bit. He's sitting on a tube of six. Because <laughs> if you had benches that wide like he's sitting on that at Hawkinsville, they could get $12, $15 to get in down there, couldn't you? <laughs> Warren County got number 15 and number 83 back deep to receive. Number 30, Ronte Norman for the Red Devils set to kick it off. Pretty good kick. Good kick. Ball caught at the 15 yard line. He runs right up the middle and I can't, who is that on the tackle? Number 24. So it's going to be first and 10 screaming Devils. Ball just across the 30-yard line. Those pass plays they've been running have really paid off for them. But that last series, we figured out what to do for it. Same set again for Warren County. He sprints out to his left this time, and he's under heavy pressure, and he's going to lose about three yards. Going to bring up second down about 13. Good coverage downfield by the Red Devils. 
and heavy pressure by that defensive front. Ten minutes, 40 seconds left to go in the half. Warren County still in the same offensive set. Red Devils got him pinned up in the backfield again. They're going to be... And he scrambled around. Looks like he got tripped up on one of his own men in the backfield. Greg. Well, and one of our defensive linemen drove him back there. Third down and about 20 yards to go for the first. Definitely a passing situation here for Warren County. He sprints out and throws it. And doggone if he don't catch it. I believe good, he caught it. Good, good coverage, coverage by, but good coverage by number 12 Stokes. But when the guy's two foot taller than you are, and the ball's out, it wasn't nothing he could do but either in a field with him or. Watch him catch it. So it's first and 10, Warren County. They went a hole, pick up about 22 yards on that play. Ball spotted at about the 47. Nope, I'm wrong again, about the 43. Warren County doesn't run but one set, Bruce, but they do a pretty good job they, at they it. Keep, they keep running that same set. He sprints out to his right, rides back and throws it. Ball should have been picked off by number seven. Warren County crowd wants some interference, but, but uh, he just, he just he tripped, just tripped, he tripped his own self, I think. Good coverage down the field that time by the Red Devil. Second down, ten. Number nine, C.J. Norman makes a tackle out of bounds. But he'll have the first down. I couldn't tell. I thought they'd run the ball straight up the middle and big number 78, Wyman had him hemmed up, but but he he, had, he must have faked it to him and let somebody else have it. First down, 10 to go. Ball spotted on the Red Devil 44-yard line. 8.47 left to go before the half. Warren County still in the same set. Send motion to the left. Hand off around the left side. He's going to pick up two, maybe three yards. Looks like he's going to get down about the 40-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Confusion looks like on Warren County that to start with. And they have a legal procedure going to back them up five. That's going to bring up third, uh, second down at about 12. Right 
second down, 11 and a half to go for the first. Same set again for Warren County. And that's a bootleg and a good play by number nine. Or oh, is that eight? Who is that? That's that number the eight. That's, that's uh, Davis. Belafonte Davis. He just comes from nowhere, Bruce. Just, just right in and right on him. Third down, 20 to go for the first. Seven minutes left to go before the half. He drops back and lays it up again. And he comes and he up with it. He comes up with another big catch. You can't ask for any better coverage from the Red Devil. He just lays it up at that speech to runs under it. Ain't nothing fancy about that, Bruce. He just takes a pass, gets rid of it. Can you see anything on the monster, Gray? I see some uh, Warren County faithful. <laughs> some of these other coaches they brought with them. <laughs> They're getting a lot of coaching from the stand up here at stands, I can tell you. They are. Warren County first and 10. He had number 22 around the left side and a, might have been a touchdown saving tackle by number two Jennings. Our camera woman here is really struggling. It, it, we're in tight quarters here. I tell you what, I ain't so sure filming in Iraq wouldn't be easier than this. <laughs> Second down, five to go. He drops back and throws it up again, and surely that is going to be intercepted. Pass intercepted by number 30, Ronte Norman. So that spoils the Warren County scoring drive. Where's the ball, Bruce? Can you tell? Looks like it's maybe on the 12-yard line. First and 10. Greg, I don't know, uh, but I don't know if I can see from here. You got a flashlight. I hope our, our viewers may have to take some Dramamine or something when they watch this, way it's... <laughs> Who is that? Number seven, Darrell Norman, off to the races. He gets stopped after a gain of about 15. Yeah, our viewers will be ready for a cruise in hurricane season. They, they will be after this. watching this. Coach, we are up here next to the rail if we get sick. Yeah. <laughs> we can just lean over. Our, our tripod is set up on, on the stands, and when the Warren County fans react, it makes the camera move around and bobble around. First and 10, Red Devils. Ball's out there on the field somewhere. Looks like maybe the 25 or 30 yard. I couldn't tell you where it's at. It's moved now, though, Greg. Number two, Jennings. He just loose. keeps twisting and turning and tries to. And he's going to be brought down at two players. And he's going to be brought down at the 44. Now I can see that. They're getting a little closer to us now, we can see. We're going to have to go tell Coach Campbell at halftime, just every time they run, run to this side, where we can tell exactly well, we who's got it and what's going on. <laughs> it sure is nice filming at home, sitting up there in the summertime with the air conditioning and the wintertime with the heat. When you get to a place, you're just lucky to have electricity. First and 10, Red Devil. Ball handed to number three, Tyler Bill, straight up the middle. And he takes a hard lick. But he's going to have first down yardage. Another good run by Tyler Bill. He has good vision when he breaks loose in that secondary. He does.
First and 10, ball spotted about the 44 yard line. Two wide outs, high backfield. Number 34, Williams on the carry. And he's still driving forward. He's gonna have close to first down yardage. They had him stopped after a gain of about four and he just kept his legs driving, Bruce, and picked up about nine picked up, yards. Picked up that extra yardage. Gonna be second down and less than a yard to go for the first. Three fifty-six left to go before the half. Lincoln County on top, twelve to zero. Wide out to each side, high backfield behind Coppin. He takes the snap, hands and uh, Coppin keeps the ball on a bootleg around the right side. And he's gonna be run out of bounds. He's gonna have enough for the first down. But that's about all he got. Bruce, I don't know if you can tell I got a cold or not. I've been listening to Rush Limbaugh so much on the radio. He said he had a cold dog on if I don't believe I done caught it. You done it. caught it off the radio. I believe I have. Wide outs to each side. Eye backfield behind Coppin. First and 10. Hands the number two Jennings around the right side and he's off to the races. He gets tackled after a gain of about 18 yards. Ball spotted, looks like on about the 19 yard line. Three minutes, two seconds left to go. Before the half, Red Devils threatening again. I don't know how we're doing in the yardage department, but because they got a lot of yards passing. And we've been staying on the ground. It's best we can tell we have anyway. Wide outs to each side, T backfield behind Coffin. He drops back to throw it, number six, Barden is wide open. And he's gonna be tackled about the, looks like about the 12 yard line, after a gain of about five, maybe six. Gonna bring up second down, four yards to go. Greg, you talking about catching that coal on the radio. I went to Brett Hammond swearing in and there was a lady there from the radio station and she was taking pictures and she said she was taking pictures for the radio. So I guess she didn't have to worry about it if they came out or turned out. I don't guess so. She probably didn't even have, have to bring any film, did she? Two wide outs, eye backfield behind Coppin. Number seven. Darrell Norman will sprint out to the right, and he's going to have first down yardage. Going to bring up a first, and I believe it's going to be goal to go. I believe the ball's going to be inside yeah, gonna, the five. It's going to be down about the four-yard line. Or the six. I can't tell. I can't see the lines or the ball. I believe it's right on the five, Bruce. Looking at this official on our side. I believe the Red Devils moved a little early. Yep, I believe we had some motion on the line. That's gonna back us up five. Gonna be first and goal. Ball is gonna be right on the 10. No, they... What did... I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna swap up with our trusty cameraman next week. I'm gonna film and let him call the game. I believe he's got it made. <laughs> it looks that way so far, doesn't it? Two tight ends, wishbone. Coppin drops back to pass. Got him wide open in the end zone. 
Number five, Jathias Jones. Six points, Lincoln County. Your score, 18 for Lincoln County, zero for Warren County. But I feel like we're gonna line it up and go for two again. No, we ain't. We got number 59, Reed, back out there gonna try another PAT. Well, I lost another camera operator. Good snap, good hole. And I believe that kick's gonna be wide to the left. He had the height on it, just. Plenty height, plenty deep. Just not straight. So with 102 left to go before the half, you score Lincoln County 18, Warren County zero. I believe we got another preacher, Gray. I tell you what, this is probably, they probably took in less money over here at the gate. Well, everybody on Lincoln County side had to pay to get in, but they got all coaches over here. I guess everybody's <laughs> everybody got a pass. Had a pass. Number 30, Ronte Norman, gonna tee it up. Number 14, Austin Goldman comes on the field. Good high kick, ball fielded at the 20 yard line. He's going to be tackled at about the 30, maybe the 32. 55 seconds left to go before the half. See if Lincoln County can shut down that passing attack that Warren County has been throwing at us. It really is no design, it's just hope our man can jump higher than your man. They're going to run a different set, Bruce. Got four wide out, shotgun formation. Got a man wide open here in the middle of the field, and he overshoots him. He tried to jump up, but he couldn't jump up and get that one. Just a little tall for him. Second down, 10 to go. 47 seconds left. So that was a, about the first design pass play I've seen them run. Maybe they need to go back to the other gray. Well, it, he had a man open. He just didn't, just did just a little tall for him. And he's going to be sacked this time. By number two, 52, and 33. Third down, 17. Warren County takes a timeout. You say. The coach oh, down here, coach. Turned, he's, turned, he's turned into a doctor, too. Hey. Well, mate, wonder if he knows anything about running a camera. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he could learn. He, probably could, he might could tell us how to do it. I feel like he may work for the government. No, surely not the county government, though, Greg. It could work for the phone company. That could be the other <laughs> possibility. All right, got wide outs, four wide outs, shotgun formation. 
Number 83 is wide open again. And he's going to be brought down at midfield with 19 seconds left to go. First and 10, Warren County. They have definitely got the passing game down. I don't know if they threw the, threw the ball against anybody else all year, but they are really being productive. with it against us. Ball just over the 50 yard line. <coughs> 19 seconds left to go. Ball spotted just across the 50. First and T in Warren County. Three wide outs to the right, one to the left. Shotgun formation. Pressure heavy, and he's going to be sacked. Close to a late hit by number 33, Brandon Reed. Time's going to run out right here. That's the final play of the final play. So that'll be referee, a referee says he got one second left. So they'll, and now they change the mind. So they they will, the mind. So that will it. be the last play of the half. All right, so we're going to take a halftime break, Greg, with the score here at uh, Legion Field in Warren County, 18 to 0. All right, welcome back, folks. This is Bruce Beggs along with Greg Norman here in Warrington, Georgia, where Lincoln County is leading the Screaming Devils right now, 18 to 0. We prepare to get underway in the second half. We also heard during halftime which will be a history lesson for y'all when you watch this game, but Washington Wilkes has beaten the Qantas 28 to nothing at halftime. So they will, if they score holds true, they will secure second place in the region. But they will be in that old tough bracket with Hawkinsville. They will be. And uh, Greg, you were just saying that we missed Stephen Brown in the first half, and I understand from we our... We didn't even mention it the first half, but he was not out there. Right, and our uh, sideline reporter is saying that... Uh, he has a pull muscle or something in his back that he could have played, but that uh, they're wanting to give him a little break to, to get him to get him strong for the playoff games. And Bruce, I was down there by the uh, dressing room at halftime, and I noticed number seven, Darrell Norman, came back out with no shoulder pads on. So I don't know if if he's banged up, or evidently it's got to be something wrong because he's just a sophomore. Sure that they would be running him. In the second half, you know, just to get experience if nothing else. Number 30, Ronte Norman kicks off. High, shallow kick. He goes around the right end. And I couldn't tell who made the tackle. Folks. You're doing yourself a favor by staying home watching this thing on TV, I can tell you. <laughs> well, I don't know. If they, when they see this video, I don't know. Greg, well, I, well, we're here, and we can't see no more than they see <laughs> well, it. Well, that's true. Uh, I believe that tackle was made by number 18, uh, Austin, Reed. Austin Reed. Let's see what Warren County's going to do. I bet they come out here throwing the ball again, but I bet they're going to hunt somebody other than this number 83. Nope, number 83 it is. Ball's intercepted, intercepted. by number nine, C.J. Norman, and he's run right out of bounds at about the 46-yard line. So it'll be first and 10, Lincoln County, from that spot. Red Devil offense comes back out on the field after just one play. Warren County came out after halftime trying to get something on the board in a hurry. 
and it just didn't work out for them. That'll probably take that'll probably take the rest of what little life they had left in them. That'll probably just take it right away. That, that, I, I, I believe it will take a little air more out of the balloon. Two wide outs to the left. Coppin drops back to pass, and he's under heavy pressure. Heavy pressure, but gets it off. And he just off. throws it up there. And it's knocked down by number 83, intended for number 27, Alex Bradford. He goes up high to get it, but Alex isn't much taller than Tavares. He, he isn't. He, and he had a tall defender on him there. At number 83. He's pretty close to the same height as Brandon Barden, I'd say. Yeah, he is. He's, he's a tall kid. Same set again for the Red Devil. Copping under center. Hands the ball off up the middle. Number two, Jennings, looks like he's going to get about six yards. Going to bring up third down and about four. Well, they're going to mark him. He's only got five. It's going to be third and five. A little screen pass would work good here, Bruce. It would. Maybe even a draw. Let's see what the Red Devils opt to do. Same set again for the Devils with the two wide outs to the left. Two in the backfield behind Coppin. And he's going to sprint out to the right. And I think he's just going to keep it and run it. And they're going to tackle him over here under the bench, surely. If that ever was a late hit in football, you would think that would have been it, but. Fourth down. And about four yards to go. He only picked up a yard, so that'll bring up a punting situation for Lincoln County. Got a new punter in the game, number 30, Ronte Norman. We better hurry up. We're going to be. There it is. Delay a game. We had a chance to pin them deep. Or maybe too many men on the field. What are they calling? He called a legal substitution. We got 12 men on the field. Coach Hardeman got his hat off, both hands on top of his head. Good snap this time. High punt. And it's going to take a Red Devil roll. Ball is going to be spotted inside the 30. Looks like on about the 26-yard line. Be first and 10, Warren County. So after the turnover by the Red Devils, we didn't get anything out of it. We got some halftime stats. Lincoln County had 12 first downs to Warren's nine. We had 21 rushes for 208 yards. They had 14 for 15. We'll watch this play and we'll give you the rest of them. Warren County Warren still, County in, that same still in the same set. Quarterback Going. under pressure. And that's a good little old athlete there at quarterback. I think he's just a freshman, Bruce. Okay, on the passes, we will four out of five for 60 yards. They were five out of 12 for 117 with two interceptions. We ran a total of 26 plays for 268 yards. They ran a total of 26 for 132. And also, our statistician, Johnny Walton, gave us this other little figure on here. Campbell is 29 and 0 against Warren County. That's a that's odd facts known by a few. Well, I feel like sometimes, Bruce, when you watch a baseball game and they come up with all these batting averages with one man on base and two men on base and two outs and all that. 
somehow or another, I think John is behind the scenes in that because he comes he, up with he, figures nobody he else can. even thinks about. He really about. does. And while we're talking about him, I know everybody's familiar with his red his uh, website, reddevils.us. Um, but if you hadn't visited that site, I encourage you to do so. You'll find out everything you always wanted to know about Red Devil football and a lot of other Lincoln County athletics. It has a lot of links on there about the Cheer Devils, the uh, um, um, what else, Greg? A lot of community. Well, you got uh, type you got things. some of the some of the best uh, Class A websites in the state. Got links on that that you can go straight from the Red Devils too. Got a projected playoff bracket on that. You can see the teams is more he, than likely going to make it and what position they're going to be in. Right. And if you look at it Monday night, it'll be up to date. And this week will make a lot of difference in a lot of folks' playoff brackets. It, it will. Warren County, the little quarterback, scrambles around again and gets enough for another first down. So Warren County's holding. They holding true to the deal. I mean, they are, it's always a tough game. Even though your score is 18 to 0, Lincoln County's move the ball kind of will, but when we get close, we just do something, shoot ourselves in the foot. Ball just on the other side of the 40. He gonna drop back to pass, scramble around again. He almost breaks loose and is brought down. He's gonna have about six yards on that scramble, maybe seven, depending on the spot. He's gonna give him six, gonna bring up second down and four. I believe Bethany's got like shaggy. She's more interested in what she's got to eat than running the camera. Well, I saw him down there on the sidelines he, while he ago. By, he stopped by and said hello. He stopped by and checked in, wanted to know what we was going to do when the game was over with, whether we was going to pack up or he was going to have to help. I think he wanted to know where we were going to stop and eat. I'm convinced of that. <laughs> Pass is intercepted by number 30, Ronte Norman. He goes down the sidelines and finally run out of bounds. Across the, at about the 42 yard line, I think, but I think they're gonna call number 33, Brandon Reed with a clip or a hit out of bounds or something. Gonna be a personal foul. <clears throat> Must have been a hit out of bounds. So they'll move us back 15 yards. Gonna be first to 10 Red Devils. Let's see where they gonna mark off the penalty and spot it. They go spotted on about the 41. Be first and 10 Red Devil. So after the, that's about where he intercepted the ball at. So that good return knocked out by the personal foul. Red Devils come out, got two wide outs to the left. Two in the backfield behind Coffin. He drops back. And throws a little pass out there to number nine, C.J. Norman. He, he breaks back breaks to the several, middle. Breaks several tackles and comes back to the middle. And comes back to the, the middle of the field and gets the ball across the 50. Going to be first and 10, Lincoln County. And that ball was about a, on about the 49. About a 15-yard pickup. We moving it good on first down, but if something happens, goes bad, and we don't move it on first down, we don't seem to get a first down. Two wide outs wide to the right, number 27, Bradford, number nine, C.J. Norman. Two backs in the backfield behind Coppin. He drops back, and this time he hits number 27, Bradford, with the pass. And he's gonna pick up about four, maybe five yards
You're going to give him about four. Going to be second down, about six and a half. I tell you, Bruce, I've been looking at those chains over there. That's the longest 10 yards I believe I've ever seen. <laughs> Does it look long to you? Well, it I may wish be, we had Kenny Adele with us. He, he well, he wouldn't. Well, he do measures but, a little long. Yeah, now, so. he wouldn't do nothing but guess. <laughs> His rule don't add up to anybody else's. Number thirty-four Williams goes off the right side and going to be Gets stopped for no gain. Stacked up at the line. Still going to be third down and six. I'm telling you, that's the longest 10 yards I've ever seen between them two sticks. Well, with these lights, it may be like an optical illusion, Greg. It could very well be. Either that or my eyes are really getting bad. If they keep getting worse like they are now, I'm going to have well, to get I, somebody to lead me I, to the house. <laughs> I, I wonder if anybody over here got a CNI dog. We're going to need one. Number 34, Williams, goes around the left side, and it's going to be a foot race to the sticks. I think he's going to come up. A, I don't know where they're going. He's going to be close to first down yardage over there. Bruce, every game I've ever been to over here has been so foggy you couldn't see. Well, it, It's never foggy anywhere else we go. I but, wonder if these lights just ain't hot enough to burn it. Well... I believe some of those on the other side need to be re-aimed. I feel like the ones they do have burning are shining right in my eyes. And they are. They are. We got the old deer in the headlight look. We did have that when we first got here. <laughs> Number 18, Reed checks in the game. is wide out to the left, 27, Bradford to the right. They're going to run a quick pitch with C.J. Norman around the left side. And he's going to have first down yardage. We have a big play on first down. When we don't have a good play on first down, it's tough for us to get a first down. Bruce, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but most of the Warren County coaches over here have settled down. They have settled down. Some of them didn't come back. I don't know if they are looking at next week's films or... Well, I see they didn't cut number 44's foot off. They said they, he couldn't walk on it. They were just taking him in there and cut it off. But <laughs> I see he still got it on. He, I reckon he got up and started walking. Number two, Jennings goes up the middle. And he's going to have, he's going to be close to first down yardage. It is. It's a first down. First Looks like the ball spotted on about the seven, first. maybe eight yard line. First and goal. Four fifty-two left in the third quarter. Red Devils come back out in that two tight end wishbone set. And Williams is going to be tripped up in the backfield. He's going to lose about three yards, maybe four. Gonna be third down and goal. Look like the ball is gonna be spotted on about the eleven. Two tight ends, wishbone. Number nine, C.J. Norman around the right side, and he's going to go forward and pick up maybe. Let's see where they're going to spot it. Looks like he's going to pick up about four yards. I thought they ain't going to give him no, no, I don't think so. I don't think they're going to give him nothing. Third and goal, ball is going to be spotted just inside the 10.
One wide out to the left is Austin Reed, and one to the right, Alex Bradford. Got two in the backfield. He's looking for number six here. Alex is wide open. It's a touchdown. So with 3.06 left to go in the third quarter, scores Lincoln County 24, Warren County 0. I see we're going to line up number 59, Reed, again for another PAT. I wonder where Big Chase is. I don't, I don't know. We hadn't seen him kick tonight. I hadn't even seen him on the field. And Rex hits that and right straight down the middle. That one's going to be good. 25 for Lincoln County, zero for Warren County. Bruce, we hadn't had another report out of Augusta, have we? No, uh uh. Last report we had was 28 to 0. Qantas has come a long way, but they still got a long way to go. I seen on uh See on TV on channel six or twelve, they got them ranked in the top ten in the CSRA. Washington ain't even been mentioned. I guess that'll probably think that may change. And, well, no, they'll put <laughs> Wardlaw in. They play seven man football. Number thirty, Norman to kick it off. And he kicks this one on the ground, and it's going to roll out of bounds at the 20-yard line. So that'll be first and 10 on the 35 for Warren County. Three oh six left in the third quarter. On a foggy, dark night in Warrington, Georgia. It ain't but one thing could be worse, Bruce. What's that, Greg? It could start raining. Don't mention that, Greg. If it does... I got wet enough last night at the fair. That's what I heard. I got a lot of friends. They all turned out. <laughs> <laughs> Another pass completion. For another first down for Warren County. Something happened over there on our sideline, Bruce. I can't can't tell what it is, but they say he caught it. I don't know what in the world. It sounds like our crowd might have wanted a penalty. but I don't see one. First and 10, ball spotted on the 47. 47 yard line. He's gonna drop back and let it go again. He's gonna be sacked this time, surely, but he scrambled yeah, around and really gets out. Scrambling. He runs about 100 yards and gains five. But he did. But some, I think everybody on the Red Devil defensive line touched him in that I think they backfield. Did. He, he really was doing some scrambling then. He's going to bring up second down, six yards to go. Warren County just won't give up, Bruce. They are. They don't appear to be giving up, Greg. He's still hustling to the line of scrimmage. Gonna run a little option.
motion. Jeffrey Porter shoots in there and breaks that up. So he's going to lose about three. Going to bring up third down and nine. Got four wide outs, they're just not in the shotgun. He's gonna sprint out. He got one wide open and he drops the ball. He drops the ball. They had what they wanted. He took his eyes off the ball, right time it got to him, looking for a place to run. So that's gonna bring up fourth down nine yards to go. I believe this is the first punt by Warren I, County, I believe Bruce. it is. Stokes back deep for Lincoln County. Surely there's going to be a delay of game here. I mean, how many days are they going to give them? And he's going to punt it away from Stokes. Ball is going to go out of bounds about the 21, 22 yard line. 21 yard line is where he's going to spot it. First down, 10 to go for the Devils. The Red Devils, that is. Lincoln County. Looks like we got number six in at quarterback, Brandon Barden. Red Devils gonna have to take a timeout. Looks like we're trying to go with the second unit, Bruce. And some of them didn't know they were supposed to go. Didn't, didn't know they were supposed. It was time to be out there. Okay, Red Devils come back with a play. We got them on the field this time. Number six, Barden in at quarterback. Our backfield behind him, wide outs to each side. He turns and pitches to number two, Jennings, and he might get back to the line of scrimmage. Number 22 for Warren County. Penetrates that line, tackles him in the backfield. Well, he's going to lose about three yards. Going to bring up second down, 13. Red Devil's gonna send a wide out to each side. Number 27 to the right, Bradford. I believe that's number 26, Casey Norman on the left. And Barden drops back to pass. And he's under pressure. And he just throws it away. Under heavy pressure. Protection just breaking down on the 
offensive line now. They must be blitzing every time, Bruce. They, they must be. Barden under a lot of pressure that time. Got a wide out to each side. Eye backfield behind Barden. Got number 27 to the left is Bradford. Number 26 to the right is Casey Norman. And he's going to hand to the first back through. It's going to be Tyler Beal. And he's going to fight forward and have first down York. That ain't. Yeah, that's number three, Tyler Beal. They're going to move the sticks. going to be first and ten. Ball spotted on about the 33-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Wide out to each side. T backfield back there behind Barton, and he's going to drop back to pass. Ball caught by number 27, Bradford, and he's hit immediately. Looked like a gain of about eight. That was a good catch by number 27, Bradford. Hit immediately. So that's going to be the last play of the third quarter. You score Lincoln County 25, Warren County 0. You know, Bruce, I stopped by the courthouse this afternoon on my way home from work and told Kenny Adair to come on to Warrington and help us out. He wanted to know where the football field was in Warrington. I told him it was dark everywhere. Just go to you see the lights. <laughs> but but that might not have been still a, out riding around. That so. might not have been a good idea. He's probably up there at IGA waiting on him. He them, probably is. Waiting on him to start, because I'm sure it's just as much light up there in the parking <laughs> lot as it is down here on the football field. You know it's it's bad, to, it's bad to put down other people's places when you go to them, but when you got a facility like ours, it, I tell you, it's it really easy. Make, to, it, it, it'll ruin you, won't it? It really makes you appreciate home. Second down, about one and a half. Red Devils got wide outs to each side. Number six, Barden, still at quarterback. And he fumbled the ball on the snap, and I believe Warren County. They gonna give it back to the Red Devils. I thought Warren County had the I ball. Thought. Bruce, if that ball don't bounce back in the backfield like it did, they give that thing to Warren County. Uh, I thought they had it, but but I'm we're gonna I'm end glad up. we're gonna we're gonna abide by their ruling yeah. though, nevertheless. Two wide outs to the left, number eighteen, Austin Reed, number twenty seven, Alex Bradford. I backfield behind Brandon. He turns and hands to number thirty four Williams around the right side and he keeps driving forward. He's gonna have enough for the first down. Looks like it's gonna be a gain of about five, maybe six yards. Ball spotted just short of the 45. 11.40 left to go in the game. Lincoln County on top, 25-0. Wide out split. Wide to each side. Eye backfield behind number six. He quick pitches to number 30, Ronte Norman, around the right side, and he's going to go for about eight yards. I think the Red Devil offense is finally wearing down the Screaming Devil defense. Yeah, they don't, they, I believe the rest of that air is going on out of that balloon there. I think it is. That's going to bring up second down at about one. Let's see if he lets Brandon sling it here.
Number 18, wide to the right, Austin Reed. Number 27, Bradford to the left. I backfield behind Barden. And number 27, just beyond Bard, just a little bit too long for short Mr. Bradford. But he, he was doing a good job trying he to did. reach he ran up. A, he, ran a good, he ran a good pattern. Ball just a little bit too long. Third down and a yard. You know he can throw a softball pretty good too. Who is that? Mr. Bradford. Oh yeah. He threw one last night and put me in the water. Oh. How many times? Just once he was nice to me. Get a number three up the middle. Tyler Bell and he breaks loose in the secondary. And he's gonna go for about 20 yards. I don't know whether our offensive line blocks so much better for Tyler than they do anybody else. But he, or the other he, crowd just don't ever expect Tyler to get it. <laughs> One of the two. Something is happening because he's really picked up some yardage that time. The, the past two or three games, he is he has really been a hard runner. Two wide out split to the left. Number 18, Reed. And I'm gonna have to check a name on number 25. Tyler Bill moved a little soon that time, but they didn't throw a flag. I guess the refs just want the clock to roll on. Nine minutes, 45 seconds left to go in the game. Got a lot of clean white jerseys in this time. We have. Number 30, Ronte Norman in at quarterback. And he loses the ball on the snap. But he gets it back. That's going to bring up third down about nine. Bruce, I'm telling you. That's the longest 10 yards in between them sticks over there I've ever seen. I believe, I don't, did you see Jim Madison here? I think we need to get him to measure that I off hadn't, of. I hadn't seen Jim, but. I tell you what, if our old trusty appraiser Kenny Adair had those to measure off somewhere, a house trailer would be too big to pull it down would, the road, it, wouldn't it? It would be. Greg, we got a good group of fans from Lincoln County here tonight that are still here, as we said. All right, third down, nine yards to go. Number 30, Ronte Norman in at quarterback. We got two wide outs to the left. I backfield in there behind him. And he quick pitches the number, I believe that's 24. I can't see, I can't see Diddley squat. I can't see it either. Let's see if we can. Did you say it was out of bounds? I think they pushed him out of bounds. No, it didn't either. The, no, clock's the clock's still, still running. He's going to bring up fourth down and the longest five yards of my life. Got wide outs to each side. Number 30, Norman, gives the number three of the middle Tyler Bill, and he ain't going to have first down yardage this time. But we got a flag over here. Old Yellow's come out. 
Probably going to be a procedure call against us, or either offsides against them. Let's see what they. Let's see which way they lean. Going to be a procedure call against the Red Devils. So Warren County declined that. They'll have the ball. They'll take over first and ten. You folks, I wish I could tell you what yard line is on. I believe it's going to be on the 20. I think I think it's about the 20. Greg, what did you say that update on the score was on the Washington Wilkes game? The Washington Wilkes 28, Aquana 6. And that was in the third. I, I think it was in the fourth. I couldn't hardly hear. Okay, Warren County is going to come out with them trip receivers to the right and one to the left. One back in the backfield. And they're going to just pitch the ball to that one half back. And he's going to lose about five, maybe six yards, depending on the spot. Well, he only lost about three. We'll bring up second down, 13. 740 left to go in the ball game. Lincoln County 25, Warren County 0. They got those four wide outs, three stacked on the left, one to the right. And he sprints out to the right, to the left. Now he's just scrambling around. And number 44, Logan Rhodes catches him from behind, finally brings him down. Look like at about the 26 yard line. Well, it's going to be. That's going to be third down at about four. Three wide outs to your right, one to the left. He drops straight back, under pressure again. Ball knocked down by number 40. Red Devil defensive backs had everybody covered downfield. Heavy pressure by the defensive line. Fourth down, four yards to go. I believe they're going to line up in punt formation. This will be their second punt of the night, I guess, Greg. For a 25 to 0 ball game, they hadn't they hadn't had a lot of punts, have they? They have not. Ball is going to take a Red Devil roll, going to go out of bounds at about the 42 yard line. So we didn't send anybody back. We just let him stand there and punt it. So here comes the Red Devil offense one more time. Bruce, we have really run up the yardage tonight. I don't but know. But we ain't the... got a whole lot. Of, well, 25 points is enough to win, but. Most of the time, we run up this kind of this kind of yardage. We have have, a, have twice that many points. We, we, we should have twice that many. Got a new quarterback in number 14, Austin Goldman. Got wide outs to each side. He hands off straight up the middle. Gain of about two, maybe three. Let's see where they're gonna put it down. That looks like gonna be right on the 35. Gonna bring up second down at about eight. Wide outs to each side. I backfield in there behind number 14. He turns and hands to the last man through number 24, and he's gonna run for first down yardage. 
I tell you what, Bruce, the younger this Red Devil offense gets, you can't hardly tell the difference. But Wide outs to each side. High backfield behind number 14, Goldman. He hands to the first back through. I believe that's Morris, and he's going to get about a yard. Going to bring up second down, nine. Austin gets to play in. Calls it in the huddle. Gonna we'll have wide outs each side. I backfield. 4.56 left in the game. Hands to the second back through. And he was caught in the backfield, but he's gonna fight forward for about and four or five yards. yards. Ball gonna be spotted right on the 35. Gonna bring up third down. In five. Four twenty-five in the fourth. Lincoln County on top twenty-five to nothing. Got two wide outs to the left. Eye backfield behind number fourteen, Goldman. Quick pitch to the right side. And I believe he's gonna have the first down yardage. If he ain't Bruce, he's gonna be so close. I see that number one rolling over on the stick. That's a good sign. That is. That, that's, that's a good indication. First and ten, Devils again. Coach Campbell just running the ball, grinding out that clock. One if he's going to lull them to sleep and try to slip a little pass in. Straight up the middle, number 89. And he's going to have first down yardage. 10 or 11 yards, Gray. He got 11 or 12. I believe that's one of those Morris kids, Bruce. Uh, it is. Got two wide outs to the right. Number 26 and 84. And got an eye backfield behind Goldman. He hands to the second back through. And he's going to be stopped for no gain. 3.15 left to go in the game. That was Hurst on the carry, I believe, wasn't it, Gray? I don't know who that is. We got to I believe, update I our... I believe that's uh, Carlos Hurst. We got to update our program. It's been so long since we looked at one. Yeah, we, we, we done got off script, didn't we? We have. <laughs> got wide outs to each side. Our backfield. Quick pitch to the right. That looks like DJ. I believe that's who number 24 is. Two minutes, 30 seconds left to go in the game. Third down, about ten and a half for the first down. Number 87 out there in the game now, that's West Bentley. Number 84 is Darren West. Number 24 is going to go in for the touchdown, Bruce. That is Franklin Jones. I thought that was little DJ. So at 1.54 left to go in the ball game, Red Devils 31, Screaming Devils 0. Number 59, Reed, going to line up extra point attempt.
Good snap. And I believe that kick is good. They going to say no good. Now, I thought that was good. We may have to do an instant replay on that, Ray. Well, Bruce, I thought it was good, but I mean, I can't see nothing. So with 154 left to go in the ball game, Lincoln County 31, Warren County 0. Number 30, Ronte Norman. Tees it up. High short kick. Fumble when he and hit immediately. My number 40, Ricardo Norman. So it's gonna be first and ten, Warren County. Ball looks like it's spotted on about the 22 yard line. Bruce, the entire coaching staff that we had sitting <laughs> up here with us from Warren County. The, the community coaches you're talking about. Yes, sir. Have They've gone. All Quarterback drops back to pass, and he's going to be sacked again. Going to bring up second down at about 11. If that number 17 for Warren County is just a freshman, he's going to be something he, to he's behold. He's going to be something to watch, isn't he? Three wide outs to the right, one to the left. Quick pitch to the right. He's got a little room. And he's hit hard by number 30, Ronte Norman. Right about the 30 yard line. Let's see where they're going. About to 29 and a half. Third down and about a yard. 46 seconds left in the game. So Warren County's got time for about two more plays and that'll about wind it up. And they're not in any hurry. They would like to have six points, but there's that layup pass again. Picked off by number 27, Bradford. And he's going down the sideline. And he's going to be thrown out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Number 27, Alex Bradford, had he, one good ball game. He has had a good game tonight, hasn't he? So with 15 seconds left, it's going to be first and 10, Red Devil ball on the 30. And I suspect we're just going to take a knee. That's exactly what he does. So that should be the last play of the ball game, Bruce. That should should wrap it up, Gray. You score Lincoln County 31, Warren County 0. And, and that's the ball game. And we see the players exchanging congratulations and the fans from Lincoln County coming out on the field. And it's been a good ball game by both teams. Warren County coming up short. 
But they did. They played a. They did. They did play. They they ground out more yardage than I thought they would have got. Well, Greg, we've had a good time bringing our viewers this game. We hope the, the film is going to be worth watching with all these jumps and bumps and and uh, we had. I believe we had as much substitution in uh, our camera operators as uh, we did late in the game with uh, with our Red Devil players. I don't know how much of the game our viewers are going to be able to see, but they can see most everybody in the stands. <laughs> the backs of the heads, anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, we want to thank the uh, city and county governments of Lincoln County, the Lincoln County Development Authority and Chamber of Commerce, and the Lincoln County High School Technology Department for their help in making this video possible. We want to thank um, our camera operator, Bethany Beggs, tonight. Who else we want to thank? We want to thank uh, Shaggy for coming by and saying hello. We appreciate the assistance that Coach Mark Flowers gives us. We want to thank Ginger Parham, who's the coordinator of these broadcasts. Greg, if you don't have anything else, we're going to wrap it up. I think I'm good to go to next week. We'll All see right. you in Milledgeville. For, for Greg Norman, this is Bruce Beck saying good evening and go Devils.